Welcome fellow YouTube explorers. This video is just a quick update on what I'm currently working on for the Quick Mix channel. I'm designing a bulkhead for a 128 scale WL Toys RC car, aimed at those who want to convert it to RWD. This design allows us to adjust the camber angle flexibly by changing the screw distance shown here. We can also adjust the caster angle by adjusting the distance between the bulkhead and the upper and lower swing arms. For spacers, I'm using parts from a Tamiya Mini four-wheel drive, but you can also use M2 nuts or washers. With the right camber and caster settings, we can maximize tire traction. To demonstrate, I'm using square profile or flat profile tires instead of donut-shaped ones. You can see that when turning, the inner wheel has maximum traction, meaning the entire contact patch of the tire touches the ground. This is important because the inner wheel functions to steer the front of the car, especially during drifting. For the monoshock, I designed it so that it doesn't require a ball head, with the aim of allowing the ball head to be used for other purposes. Just print this bushing and bolt it in using an M2 screw. I designed this bulkhead based on proper automotive construction techniques, specifically using an unequal length setup, where the lower swing arm pivot is positioned further inward than the upper one. The purpose of this is to ensure that the front wheel camber as the suspension moves up and down always provides maximum traction. However, once it is built, the effect wasn't noticeable, probably because this is a 128 scale RC, uh, so the suspension travel is very limited and the difference is minimal. This design also has a drawback. It reduces the vertical spacing between the upper and lower swing arms, which means I can't design a steering system that passes through the front axle shaft. In short, with this bulkhead, you can only use a steering system similar to the stock setup. As for performance, it's not significantly different from not using the 3D printed part at all. In conclusion, if you have a 3D printer and just want to print for fun, or if you don't want to modify the stock gearbox, feel free to download the file, it's free, and the link is in the video description. Just make sure to adjust the circular hole tolerance for a proper ball end fit. But for those without a 3D printer, I wouldn't recommend this mod as this design doesn't align with the philosophy of this channel. What I mean is, if you don't have a 3D printer and you send the design to a 3D printing service, there's no guarantee the result will match what you want. For example, with this ball end, if the hole tolerance is just right, there will be no problem. But if the hole is too small, the ball end will feel tight or won't move smoothly. I already have an idea for another ball end design that's safer and easier to print, and I'll also be redesigning the bulkhead from scratch so it can use a better steering system. So I'd recommend just waiting for the next video update instead. Anyway, I'm sorry it's been a while since my last update. It's not that I've abandoned this channel, it's just that I've been busy with other work and also with many activities at church. Hopefully, uh, I'll have more time to update this channel in the future. See you in the next video.